we flip that and the lights over at the spotter go off. Hey, what's that? It looks like some kind of uh, secret trap door with a ladder. Wow, that was one heck of a crack of thunder. Hey everybody, it's a rainy day here in Patronville, which of course is the name of my realm. I just woke up and was out on my balcony just taking a look and being a little bit disappointed that it's raining outside. And there's my dog. I still have to take him for a walk. It doesn't matter if it's raining or not. There doesn't appear to be a soul on the street. I've got the place to myself. We're going to go down here and take a look at a house. Uh, this particular house is on the market. It's for sale. The previous owner has moved out. Uh, sea turtles are on the beach I guess they're probably laying eggs it must be that time of year and there's my dog Now, this is the house, and the previous owner, uh, he worked a lot, and he found little time to, uh, to be here in the realm. So he has vacated the house, and it's a large house. It appears to be... Uh, log construction with some other different uh, types of wood uh, it's not a bad looking house I kind of like it uh, it's huge it appears to be I say we go in And right away I see that it has some nice hardwood oak floors. In his haste to move out he... Well, this, bit, this must be a bedroom. Pretty good size. Maybe it's a, a den. I don't know. But he left some art work hanging on the walls. There's a, 
our founder, Henry McDougall Hand. He's quite the celebrity here in the realm. This appears to be a bathroom. There's a shower. Some more artwork that he left. He left a flower. Let's go upstairs. There's a view of the city hospital. But yes, I'm kind of taken aback at how large this house is. It's a much larger house than the one that I live in. There's the turtles on the beach. Boy, here's another very large room. And it appears to be just as spacious as the other two floors. There's a view of his neighbor's house. I'd say this house has a lot of possibility. It sounds as though the rain has stopped, so that's great. Now the color scheme in this house, a little bit too, a little bit too dark for my taste, I think, but it can be brightened up. Let's go back downstairs. Here's the way we came in. So yeah, this one's on the market. We're either going to let uh, a new citizen take over here. He can, or she can choose to live in it, fix it up, or they can bulldoze it and build a fresh new house on this lot. I don't know what my dog is doing on the grass over there, but... Now this house over here has always had me intrigued. This house is owned by the owner of the, of the city uh, bank of Patronville. He also owns the city baseball team. And this is his house. Now, he has multiple houses. He's very wealthy. But this is his, uh, his city house. Let's go in and take a look. 
This is the Jazz Mansion. And immediately off to the left, there is a a a, a bathroom, a shower sink. Uh, it's very nice. And off to the right is obviously the the living area. It's got a nice entertainment system right there, nice t television set, stereo. Pretty contemporary looking fireplace, very nice. And here's a bar with some stools. You can sit here and eat, watch people stroll by down the sidewalk. Now we're in the kitchen, and my dog seems pretty excited about the kitchen. For some reason, the, the sinks are full of water. He's got double ovens. It's a very nice touch. Now as we make our way upstairs... Nice marble, marble floors here on the second, the second story. This is one huge bedroom. This guy uh, really likes the opul opulent life. Uh, look at that bed. That must have cost $10,000. Uh, a man of, of expensive taste. Here's a nice little uh, balcony for the bedroom. Outdoor fireplace. Nice uh, patio chairs. Beautiful view of Patronville Lake. I see the horse stables over here. I should go over there and check on my horse before we leave this side of town. It's got a nice view of the the city skyline back there. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Now, I don't think he would mind that I'm in his house and I, hey, what's that? It looks like some kind of uh, secret trap door with a ladder. No world. Whoa, look at that. Look at this place. Wow. Wow, this is... There's supplies down here. There's a waterfall and brewing stands down here. Wow. I was trying to open that, but I don't know how. Boy, this place is, this is wild. 
press button to select armor. Enter and press what, what is this? Now, as you can see, I do not have any armor on. But will this machine put armor on me if I just select which one I want? Let's press this button. And now let's step into this. Yeah, enter and press button to equip armor. Let's press the button. Puff of smoke. Hey, look at that. Now, I am decked out in gold. I've got my bling. That is so cool. I'm very impressed by this. Not exactly sure how it works, but I'm very impressed. He's got all the tools, and there's anvils right here so he can enchant the tools. Crafting table, there's a library with an enchanting table. He's got everything down here. There's one of those saws. I don't know what you do with that in Minecraft. Let me know in the comments if you can enlighten me on that, that circular saw. There's a flint in steel. This must be a portal. It appears to be blocked off. Or maybe there's a secret uh, mechanism that opens it. I would love to go through this portal just to see what's on the other side. But boy, that armor, that armor equipping machine was very nice. So let's go back up. I'll close the door. My dog will just teleport to wherever I am. Very nice. Very nice indeed. He's got a nice pool. It's a pretty warm day, so... Let's jump in. Wow, that felt amazing. And seeing how we're right here, this is my where my horse stays. Here in Patronville, we don't let our horses just wander around. We we all have a stable to keep our horse in. You can look through this window and maybe see all the horses down through there. Here's the back side of the mansion.
Yes, that was very, very nice. There's my dog. There's a chicken named Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Oh, you better not be tinkling over there next to the hospital. We'd get some kind of citation for that, a ticket. I think Bobby went over there and convinced my dog not to mess it up in any way. Chickens seem to make very good security guards. Now, there's my humble house. It's not very large, maybe because I have this big driveway, which doesn't make much sense for me to have a driveway because, well, in Minecraft we don't have cars. But I have the side yard, too, so... Between the side the side yard and the driveway, it makes the footprint of my house not very not very large. I could expand it. But I'm okay with it. Now this block being lit the way it is tells me that I have mail at the post office. So we're going to go down here and I'm going to check my mail. Here's the post office. And there's a postal clerk over there. And the city councilman, Izzy the Tiger, has left me some mail, so I'll take that and I'll read it a little bit later. But yes, we can, we can uh, send each other mail. But yeah, no one's, no one's around. Everyone is still asleep. It's a weekend. I'm going to go over here to my office. This is City Hall. And seeing as how I am the mayor, I have an office here. There's... There's a map of the layout of, of Patronville and the rest of the county. You can see the, the baseball field takes up a pretty good size uh, chunk of real estate. There's the two houses that we just toured, that one and that one. Down here, you can see represented on the map uh, our pirate village, and there's a great big pirate ship. I'll show you that sometime. There's the lab's compound. A lot of strange things go on at that place. Anyway, I need to go up here to my office to to put something in my desk. It occurred to me that I don't have uh, a way to defend myself if I needed to. And a lot of people keep a, a weapon or something of some sort 
in their desk. So I thought I would do the same. Up there I used to have a tropical fish. That's water up there. But they kept dying and I'm not really sure how to keep them alive. And out the window you can see the the baseball stadium, the ballpark. So I'm just going to take one of my swords and leave it. Because you never know when my one of my enemies might come into my office. And here's my enemies list. And this book has the city codes and bylaws, which I'm going to be amending those very soon. Huh? There's a change or two that I'm going to be making. I've already talked it over with the city council, so... You know, I think City Hall might need a security chicken. I'll have to talk to City Council, the City Council, about making that happen. Now, there's a lot underneath City Hall. Here's our community message boards, where citizens. Uh, post messages for others to read. And the community board takes up two walls. And over here is the office of the city council uh, president, Izzy the Tiger. And this leads to the subways and also to the, to the business offices of the city. We'll go this way. The first thing we see is uh, the Patronville Public Pantry. So if people are down on their luck, uh, we have plenty of food in here, in microwave ovens and stuff. Uh, we take care of people. And here's, uh, yes, the city has a nether portal. And we're not going to go in it right now, but, but that's it. That's the city nether portal. Okay, we're at the subway, uh, the subway platform. And I don't see any any trains uh, at the moment. And this sign points, uh, that direction is to the East Ravine Mining Outpost, and that goes to the Five Star Ravine Mining Outpost. Down this way is uh, the city of Patronville zombie farm. We have a lot of fun in here. We get together and we slay zombies. 
Yeah, good times. It's right in here. And there's a zombie spawner. Nothing is spawning right now. We have the mode set to peaceful. But when we have it set to survival, the zombies are spawning left and right. And we are just destroying them. Looks like this room has been updated as... Uh, as you can see, it's a very clean design. And over here is an emergency exit. Uh, to use it, you just stand on the door and push the button. And then you drop down here. So if you fall into the zombie pit, you can just run over there and drop down into here. And when we kill a zombie, whatever they whatever they were carrying drops into this hopper. So all of these things are things that the zombies had on them at the time they met their maker. We'll run back up here. Close the door. Now this is a light switch. We flip that, and the lights over at the spawner go off. So we always turn the lights off when we want the zombies to spawn. I mean, there'd be, you know, three or four of us standing there at the gates, just... just slaying them with our swords and our bow and arrows. Yeah, it's good times. So we've got these heavy duty doors. And that's just so that in case uh, a zombie got out, uh, he, he won't be able to make it to the general population because of the doors. Now we're going to take the elevator down because the business offices are down here. Now here in Patronville we have an armory. So in times of trouble we have all the weapons and armor that we need. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I think so. I did not build this. Someone else did. And... We're going to take my bow and arrow, and that's a target down there. So we're going to sight in my bow. Yeah, I aimed right for the middle, but it dropped about seven inches. So I aimed a little bit higher that time.
Now there's the director of research and development. That's his office. He's a city employee. Yeah, it's not quite as uh, fancy as the mayor's office, but he gets his work done. There's a director of hospitality, a pink thief. She's not in here right now, but uh, she keeps a tidy office. The director of entertainment, uh, BH Jazz. That was his mansion that we that we toured earlier. And uh, Masani, director of uh, public works. Now, uh, out here is the the second, the lower level of the subway station. That goes to Labs City if you take the subway that way. If you take it this other direction, you go to the underground village, which is basically uh, where Patronville's uh, nightlife is. There's a mall horse racing track, there's uh, nightclubs, restaurants, uh, that's all that way. Love those aquavators. Nice, efficient way to Hmm. Travel up and down in buildings. And here we are at street level. This is where we came in. And there's my dog. And uh, that's kind of a slum apartment complex right there. It's got some shady uh, characters living in it. I'll have to show you that sometime. That's the, the hotel on the left. And there's my house. And as you can see, the light is off because I took the mail from my mailbox at the post office, so the light is off. And my dog does not want to come in. Come on, boy. Come on. Did you see that? He just ran away. Now here he comes. I'm just going to make him sit. Sit. And seeing as how I'm right here, let's take a roller coaster ride. Now there's supposed to be a cart on the track, but there's not. So I'm going to supply my own cart. What I need is a machine that will dispense a cart, kind of like that machine dispensed armor over at that mansion. But I really don't know how to build it. But let's put our cart on the track uh, right there and jump in. Some of you have, uh, you've rode along with me on this uh, before, but 
if you're new to my channel, this is the roller coaster that I built. That's, uh, yeah, that's better. So, hang on tight. It takes a little bit of time to ride this. And you can see by looking out the windows that we are gaining elevation. We gain elevation, then we'll lose a little bit, then we'll gain it again. Change direction. And up, up, up we go. And now we go down. It was pretty challenging building a roller coaster that that stood in such a small footprint as a city block. I think it would be great to have a huge roller coaster built somewhere out in the county somewhere. Hint, hint to you citizens that love to build. Yeah, we're kind of kind of getting on up there now. Yeah, you can look down and see the houses. See, I told you, it takes a little bit of time to get up to the top. But once you're up there, the view makes it worth it. It's a wonderful view of the city. It's a nice drop, and my stomach just <laughs> just turned over. We're above the clouds. There's the top of City Hall. And we are getting near the top. This is the top floor. We will automatically be dumped out of our cart and our cart will go right through there. Now we just have to stand up because we're on the ground. So up we go. And this is the tallest building in Patronville. And we are up there. Way above the clouds. And the rain is back. Up here is the observation deck. And we're going to get wet. But that's alright. So if you're afraid of heights, uh, hold on to your stomach. Yeah, look at that down there. We are a long, long way up.
Yeah, a person can get kind of queasy up here. I see those two houses that we toured right there. Those two. Now because we can fly, we are in creative mode. I can give you a nice view of the building itself. I like the blue. I'm not too crazy about the pink. Maybe I'll change that. Here's my color matched beacons. If you've never seen one of these one of these beacons up close, you can just you can get next to them and kind of sense the power coming out of these. Yeah. In Patronville, you are nobody if you don't have a beacon. The beacon seems to be the, the status. Yeah, that's, that's a good word, the status symbol of having made it in Patronville. Now here's the elevator to the lobby. We just stand on the square and push the button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we came all the way from up there. Now, to get out of here, you just get into the mine cart and go up into the lobby. And if there's not a mine cart, you stand on that, that stone pressure plate and a mine cart pops out of that dispenser. So let's get in and up into the lobby we go and it, the cart just dumped us out and the cart kept going so that's a glitch that obviously is going to need to be fixed. I imagine the cart is uh, traversing the tracks above us headed for the upper floor. Now through here is, uh, I normally don't let people look down here. This is uh, for the maintenance personnel only, but I'm giving you a tour so I'll show it to you. This is where where the elevator, the trick elevator dumped us right here in the basement. And I guess if I stood here long enough uh, that mine cart that dumped us out in the lobby will eventually get to the top floor and it's going to fall all the way from the top and uh, it's going to land uh, on the track so that you know it'll be sitting there waiting for the next person. But it takes a while for it to get up there, so we're not going to wait. There's no guarantee that the cart will make it all the way to the top because the physics of, of the thing, I'm not sure, unless you're sitting in it, I don't think it'll make it all the way by itself. Yeah, that thing is, uh, that cart got hung up, so let's just take this cart up to the lobby. Yeah, look at that, there's a cloud, a cloud going through my building. So let's I think I'll just try to shove that card up there. So, yeah, there it goes. 
We're just going to go out the way we came in. And over here is the entrance to the area that controls the mine cart dispensing. Yeah, there's a, a uh, hopper of mine carts. If it gets low, we just take some of these and feed them into the hopper. Kind of like this. Now, over on this side, that's where we, that was just double checking to see if that mine cart ever fell. But there's nothing in here. And there's a, a maintenance store for the maintenance personnel. Hey, there's, there's those mine carts. They're stuck right there. And I got, I thought I could push them, but I ended up uh, collecting them, it looks like. It took me a while to build this. Hmm. Izzy helped me out quite a bit. I think Izzy is, uh, he's about to launch his own Minecraft channel. And when he does, uh, you guys should go check it out. I'll give you a, a link to go see his channel when the time comes. So I think that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys a couple of those houses here in Patronville. And we're going to be taking more, more tours of houses and businesses and whatnot. I don't know about my dog. He just does not want to come in. So we're going to end the video pretty much the way we started, right out here on this balcony.